Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and this is just going to be a quick update after today's video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so if you watched the earlier video, you'll notice that uh, basically what we did is we set up a script to uh, automatically collect the device ID through remediation and send that to a webhook, and then the webhook script running in Azure Automation would then uh, take that device ID check the last uh the date essentially of the oh, hold on it would set the date it would get the date of the bitlocker recovery key right when it was created and if it was more than 30 days ago uh it would go ahead and rotate the key because essentially what we're trying to achieve is if a key is uh if it hasn't been set for 30 days, we're going to rotate it. The problem we ran into is adding the scope, uh, the permission of BitLocker key read all, um, cause it wouldn't take as an application and managed identities can't take delegated applications. So this is a problem. Um, I think the real problem is, you know, going back to the documentation here, I'll update this to beta. Um, you know, the permissions still list this as application. So I believe Microsoft's been made aware of this and they're working on it. But yeah, uh, according to the docs, we should be working. But uh, had a brief conversation with John Tolls. We kind of commiserated together that this is not working the way it should be. So what do we do instead? So I'm actually going to make a V2 of my autopilot script. And we are just going to update the scripts. You'll use them the same way I showed you in the video making the automation account works just like in the video everything is still the same i just want to go, uh, go through this update so client script ps1 and webhook script ps1 okay and you can still use mr t-bone script to permission the managed identity so that's a that's a great script and it works really well Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here that's different is we're going to get the Intune device ID. And again, oh, hold on. All right, so the first thing we're going to do in this version of the client script, we're still going to get the device ID, but it's going to be the Intune device ID. We do not need the Entry device ID. So we're going to use the same method um, of getting the ID from the cert. Uh, let's see, that's going to be cert local machine my where object issuer is a match for uh, Microsoft Intune MDM device CA. This is the same one we use in the migration script. Select the object, it is the subject, subject, and we're going to trim the start of that, which is going to be the CN equals. All right, so we're still going to assemble the payload. Assemble the payload. So the payload equals device. ID is device ID convert to JSON. All right, now that we have that, we're going to have our cutoff date, which is going to be the same, but we're going to analyze it here first. So we're going to get date, add days to that. Uh, we're going to add negative 30 to basically say this is 30 days ago. Um, and I'm going to set that to string. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to set um, a date in the registry for when we rotate it. So we're going to call that the rotation date. Uh, if I can spell. The rotation date is equal to get item property value path HKLM software uh, we're going to call this BitLocker Rotation. And the name is going to be the Rotation Date. So we're going to get that value. 
Now, because we didn't write it yet, this is still the detection. If the value is null, so if the rotation date is equal to null, or if it's already there, but it's less than the cutoff date, that would be earlier, essentially. Then what we do is we write output. Basically, it has to be changed. BitLocker recovery key was rotated more than 30 days ago, attempting to rotate. And then what we will do is we will add the path here because we're going to fix it. So today will be when we rotate it. Uh, we're going to do this with um, regexe add hklm software bitlocker rotation. Uh, we're going to say the value is the rotate uh, rotation date rotation date that will be a string and the data is going to be get date to string uh, I forgot the parentheses outpost all right so that'll be today's date in a string form um, and then we're gonna send the payload so send payload so we're going to have our webhook. I'm going to put that URL in the same way you did it before. And we're going to invoke that. So method is post. URI is webhook. Body is payload. And use basic parsing. And then we exit one to trigger the Intune remediation. Else, all we have to do is nothing. Write output. BitLocker recovery key was rotated uh, within 30 days. No action needed. And from there, we just exit zero. All right, so because it's a remediation, zero does nothing, one triggers everything. Um, let's go to the webhook script. So the webhook script is a little simpler now. So basically, uh, commandlet binding. We're still going to take our params and it's still going to be the object. That's going to be the webhook data. All right. If there's webhook data, which there will be, we are going to parse it out. So the body data is convert from JSON input object webhook data and that'll be the request body and we're still just going to strip out the device id body data device id out string trim get rid of that white space we're going to connect mg graph we only need to say identity because this is a managed identity and now we're going to write output recovery key for device id device id was not updated within uh was not rotated it's not rotated within the last 30 days attempting to rotate and now here we just do our try catch. So the first try block will be invoke MG graph requests. And now this will work no problem because we just need those two permissions that we had in there. So we're going to post and the URI is going to be HTTPS graph.microsoft.com slash beta slash device management slash manage devices got the device ID and we're going to call uh, rotate eh, whatever. rotate bit locker bit locker keys and then we will write output write output successfully 
rotated bit locker key. And now our catch is pretty much going to be the same as before. So the message is going to be an exception message. And we're going to write output failed to rotate bit locker key. And we'll just call the message. Uh, okay, so what do you do? There we go. So what you do is you just replace the the script up in the webhook with this and this becomes your client script so what we're doing is pretty much we come in if it hasn't been set if it's not there if it's below the cutoff date we're just going to write that key to today's date so every time it goes back to check it'll check that and now because it's been rotated once it's going to see that's within the cutoff date so we're pretty much back where we started we're just starting with a uh, a definite rotation. Technology's fast, people are slow, Microsoft's got to update their uh, graph permission documentation, but uh, thanks to everyone who kind of pointed this out. Hopefully, they're going to address it, and then we can go back to the other version because it's a little more dynamic. I think either way, though, this will get the job done. So share your thoughts, Discord, all that stuff. You know what I'm going to say. We'll be seeing you.